The day that I got married, I had a lot of doubts. There's every possibility you're making a very big mistake. You believe that this is the person that you're meant to spend the rest of your life with, and yet it's not going to happen. Well, it was like somebody dripped out my heart. I had nothing to live for. If there are children involved, then it's doubly tragic. There are these sets of ideas about the sacredness of marriage. Are we going to confront the reality that relationships today are in real trouble? I think that the main cause is what happens or doesn't happen in the marital bed. It's so antithetical to what marriage was traditionally. $35,000 budget, we can work with a $50,000 budget, and budget has no limit. People who have a million dollar wedding. I was so afraid that if I called off this wedding, everyone would know that I'm gay. She's a virgin, and she gets married and gets to sleep with a man, a, a total stranger, her first wedding night. The longer you're with a partner, six months, two years, it's like a shelf life, it starts to diminish. The guy thinks to himself, geez, I was faithful, I was a good boy. With the exception of the 20 or 30 hookers I had while we were together, I didn't sleep around on my wife. For your life, right? You're gonna live with this one person for the rest of your life? If you're gonna go see your lawyer, you don't wanna know that your lawyer is at the local swingers club. Politicians and judges and doctors and lawyers, but people don't want to admit that they're here, and I respect that. God didn't create us to be miserable. Maybe the church needs to get out of marriage. We're the first generation that really thinks we're gonna live forever. If you're gonna love somebody, you have to love yourself first. Marriage is not the goal, and you need to figure out who you are in this world.